All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a what's on my iPhone with the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I've been waiting to get this phone for a little while. For some reason this one and then the iPhone 12 mini came out like a month or so after the like the regular 12 and 12 Pro. So I got this a little later than I was expecting to, but that's totally okay because I have it now and I could give you an updated version of what's on my iPhone. If you didn't know, I did a previous one, not even that long ago, like probably like three or four months ago, whenever I started my channel on my 11 Pro Max, and I just got this one, so we're gonna do an updated version. The only difference is it's gonna be way shorter than my last one. I kinda like went through like every single app last time, which was a mistake on my part. I didn't realize you're supposed to just go through like the important apps or like the unique ones I should say but I'm gonna be putting the phone like on the screen one of these sides or decide but yeah let's just jump straight into it all right so this the iPhone like screen should be on this side right here so you can just follow along with me but we are just gonna be starting on the home screen now and just like starting with the background I have I kind of switch this background like every like little bit these are the ones that Apple actually added with the release of this phone. So if you go to wallpapers and just go to stills and scroll down, you see like they have a bunch of new ones. Personally, I don't like the drawing background ones just cause the dark mode one looks kind of stupid how it's like all blue. But then I just, I just kind of stick to like these other ones. But as you can see with my layouts with iOS 14, I have a couple widgets here. I know some people use like widgets from like third party apps, but I kind of stick to like Apple apps. So I have the weather one in the top left so I can just quickly see what the weather's gonna be. And if I want to, I can always click on it and see like the exact weather. And then on the right side, we see I have my calendar, which I have no events right now or anything planned. And those are just kind of like the like just two important apps I just wanna see, like look at a glance to see if I have something planned or like what, other, what the weather is. And I didn't say this before, but the first page is like all like the important apps that I use probably the most. Um, because they're the quickest to get to so they're on my front page, but starting on the top right um, You can see I'm using Chrome. I just I just prefer it over Safari I've used Safari like for like a long time But I just like how Chrome looks and how it feels more than Safari I would say and in that same area we have an app called notion which I kind of see as an as a replacement for the notes app It's a place where I just jot down my ideas about like say video ideas or homework or stuff like that I kind of put it all in there and organize it. So if I go to one of my many pages on Notion, you can see I have homework and then I have all of my classes in these little like folders. And if I click on one like history, I can see what exactly I have to do for that class. And when I'm done with the assignment, I could just click on the little box right here and it'll cross it out so I know that I finished it and then I could just go through my homework. And it kind of just gives you this feeling of like achievement, I would say, like when you are able to go through and cross out all your homeworks and stuff for, for other things, it just makes you feel better. I'm not gonna go super in depth about Notion because it's like, it's not complicated, but there's like a lot that goes into it. And then next we have Todoist. And Todoist, if you couldn't tell by the name, is a to-do list. Now I use to-do list just to write down like things that pop up in my mind that I don't want to forget because I have like super short term memory. So if I don't write something down right when I think of it, I'm going to forget probably. So I just go in here and go to like my inbox or my today section and just write down really fast because so I can remember it later and actually do what I wrote down. I'm not gonna show you what's on my actual to-do to -do list because of like obvious reasons, but I really suggest getting this app. It's probably one of the best decisions decisions I've ever made just because of how much more I've been able to get done with it because I'm not like just forgetting stuff all the time I'm actually able to write down and then go back to it in the future and actually do that thing a lot of times when this comes in handy is when I'm like about to go to bed I don't know about you guys but when I'm about to go to bed like a million thoughts like race through my head about like certain things I need to do so I try to go to bed I think of all these things I open my to-do list app and then I just write all them down. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't forget all of it because that happens a lot. But now with this app, that just doesn't happen at all. Now moving down the page, there are just some obvious apps like camera and photos. The one that says student is for, for Canvas, which is for my, uh, for my college, where I could like check homework and assignments and do stuff like that. And then we get to the area of like social medias. These are the ones that I use the majority of the time. So we have Reddit, which I don't use a lot of the time love to just look up like questions on there because I feel like when you Google a question, there's just way too many like articles about the thing and you have to read through like pages and pages to actually get your answer. 
but with reddit i feel like you just search up a question or something and then like a bunch of people have different answers you know and then we get to the to the big four we got instagram snapchat twitter and tiktok in no particular order of like which i use most but these are definitely the order kind of when i open them in the morning when i like wake up or open like instagram and then just go like to the right speaking of instagram you should go and follow me on instagram and actually send me a message and just say what's up i love like messaging and talking to people who watch my videos and i pretty much reply to every single message because i don't get a lot of them if you haven't messaged me because you think that i'm not going to respond to you i definitely will and i'll have a conversation with you if i have the time but at the very least i'll just say what's up back and then we have snapchat twitter um my tiktok which i i don't really post a lot on tiktok i kind of use it to watch i have like a couple videos on there but tiktok is like obviously everyone's obsessed with tiktok it's way better than all these other apps because all these other apps are just like boring and I scroll for like a couple minutes and I get bored of them. All right, but moving on to page number two. Um, this is where I'm most organized, I would say, with all my stuff. But at the top, you see a big widget of, for my Spotify where it's like my most recently listened to and like my like songs and stuff. And so it's just kind of like really fast access to be able to like get to a, get to a certain playlist I want because if I just regularly open up Spotify, and it brings me to this and I have to go over to this page or go over here and click like songs. But instead of doing that, I can just go straight from the widget and click on like songs and it'll bring me straight to it. You guys can see my playlist or whatever. If you want me to make a video about what songs I listen to and my favorite artists and stuff like that, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to make that kind of video and I'm probably gonna write that down because I will forget about it. And then moving on, so we have a ton of different categories here. So first one are just like some basic like video watching apps like YouTube and Netflix, Disney Plus, stuff like that. Um, and then on the other page, we have like Spectrum, like just not really important apps that I use a lot besides like YouTube and Disney Plus, but I just wanted them all in the one place. All right, and then next, we just have like some other social medias that I don't really like check a lot, like my YouTube studio where I could check like how the video is doing or respond to comments, um, Facebook, which I don't think anyone uses anymore. LinkedIn, that's for like jobs and stuff, like a YouTube tracker. This YouTube tracker just um, helps me track like how many, I'm just using it right now to see how many watch hours I need to hit 4,000. And then we just have some Xbox apps because I do play Xbox quite a bit actually since this uh, since the new Call of Duty came out. And moving over, we just got some basic sports apps and then we got like finance stuff like my chance bank, Fidelity, Credit Karma so I can check my credit score, stuff like just boring like finance stuff. Um, we got food apps where I order food, mostly DoorDash, which I'm gonna stop doing because it costs like a lot of money. Like you get like a $13 burger and then like the total cost at the end turns out to be like $25 or something, which is like completely absurd. And I'm just too lazy to actually go and like pick up the food myself. All right, next we just got like some school apps, like all the Google ones, Blackboard just for my other classes that I have, um, Quizlet, Photomath, just basic stuff, stuff about my financial aid, not really super important. And then the next one are Discord and GroupMe. I use GroupMe and Discord mostly for like my classes. Um, the last few we have Google Maps, which obviously just getting around places. And this this uh, this is actually a game called Oceanhorn 2. I've never heard of it before, like like last week I think it was. Uh, but since I got this new iPhone, Apple gave me like six months or something like that. I think it was like maybe less than that. Uh, free of Apple Arcade. If you guys don't know what Apple Arcade is, I don't really know how to explain it other than it's a place where there's like games, but they're like better games than you would find on the regular app store. Like actual developers like make these like crazy games that would that are similar, I would say, to like something you'd find on like Xbox or PlayStation. And so since I got that, I just went through Apple Arcade and was looking for any cool games. And I found this game and the reason I love it is because it looks like amazing like the graphics are so good on it and i don't really i'm not going to explain the game because i don't really like I haven't, i've only played it a couple of times so i can't really explain it but if you want to learn more just like google it or something but yeah, i'm a sucker for good graphics especially on iphone like it looks crazy good for, for an iphone uh so i've been playing that the only issue though is if i play it for like 20 minutes my phone starts to like overheat um and then lastly we got the holy bible the bible app and that's like obvious for obvious reasons just to close out obviously the ones at the bottom are just basic apps like phone call gmail but then this hughes app that i have actually goes to this light bulb right behind me it's a i just got this like last week i think um it was my last video that, that was like right when i got it but it's a philips hue like bluetooth one and so on this app that you see on the screen i can control i could turn off and turn it back on first of all and then i could like adjust the brightness by just scrolling on this thing which i think is really cool 
because if I'm watching a movie in bed over there and um, like with my TV right there, then I could just turn off the lamp by my night side and then like dim that one. So it's not like complete dark in here, but it gives it like a cool, like moody feel to it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching what's on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and also go ahead and follow me on Instagram and just send me a message literally just saying like what's up or I like your videos or I hate your videos or something like that. Um, I don't really care, just whatever. Um, I just love talking to you guys and seeing what's up with you. But yeah, if you have any questions or any video suggestions for the videos to come about clothing or just anything lifestyle, then definitely let me know in the comments. I also respond to every single comment, so go ahead and do that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.